guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Tonight we are making the second recipe in our Easter special, and it's going to be country ham on roth bake. So come along with me and let's get started. So ham is a traditional food during the Easter season, and a lot of times you end up with excess ham after your Easter meal. So this is going to help you incorporate using up some of that leftover ham after your holiday. It's a very easy recipe, and it's very traditional, as is scalloped potatoes, but potatoes are not very keto. So instead, we are going to be using turnips, but it is a very simple and easy recipe and something that your family is sure to enjoy. So come along with me and let's get started. So to begin our ham bake, we need to do two things. I've already started pre-warming about two cups of cut up ham, and you can use whatever ham you had for Easter, or you can of course buy ham if you're making this at another time, and that's two cups. And I've warmed that in about a tablespoon of bacon grease. To our cubed ham, or cut up ham, I'm going to be adding four chopped green onions and a tablespoon of fresh topped thyme. And I'm going to warm that with the ham. We need to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. In a separate saucepan, we need to melt eight ounces of cream cheese and one cup of heavy cream. We just need to bring this to a small simmer. We need to grease a nine by 13 inch casserole. And I have just used a little bit of avocado oil spray in mine. Now, while we are waiting for our cream cheese and cream mixture to warm, we need to prepare four cups of chopped turnips. Turnips look like this when you find them in the grocery store. So in order to prepare our turnips, we need to cut off the ends and we need to peel them. And then we need to thinly slice them like you would russet potatoes because that is what they are taking the place of. And they're white and thin, much like a potato. And that is going to give us our scalloped potato texture in our country ham of rotten bake. And once again, we need four cups of those and they need to be thinly sliced. However you wanna do it, if you wanna make them match stick, you absolutely could. I've just kind of cut mine into potato-like shapes. And I'm just stirring this mixture to try and make sure that it stays smooth as it's heating. To our cream cheese and cream mixture, I want to add a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to use a little bit of 21 Seasoning Salute. And I'm also going to put in some salt and some black pepper. starting to smooth out as it comes to heating. Now to this mixture, I'm going to add about a cup of shredded sharp cheese. You can use whatever kind of cheese you would like. If you would like to use a Gruyere or something that is um, very strongly flavored, typical in scalloped or au gratin potatoes, you could definitely use that. I'm just going to be using sharp because of its strong flavors. And I'm just going to stir this and it's gonna get nice and creamy and melted. It's just the texture that we would like. It's nice and smooth now and I'm going to remove it from the heat. So we want to take our casserole dish and like I said, it was greased 
and we want to put about half of our turnips in the bottom and just kind of spread those around. And we're going to take half of our ham mixture and sprinkle that over the top. Now we're going to take half of our cheese mixture and spread that over the top. And we're just going to kind of spread that around. And then we're going to take about two tablespoons of butter. So I have four tablespoons total and I have just cubed it into little tiny cubes. And I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them around so that when it bakes, it's going to melt in a nice buttery layer. So then we're going to take some more of our turnip and put it over the top, just like you would regular scalloped potatoes. And just try and make a nice even layer. Then we want to take our remaining ham mixture, ham and onion, and thyme. that evenly over our faux potatoes. And then we are going to take the rest of our au gratin sauce and pour it evenly over, scraping every last bit out with our spatula. And we're just going to spread that around as evenly as we can to make sure that all of our faux potatoes our lovely little turnips are covered with sauce. And then once again, we are going to take our other two tablespoons of butter that we have cubed up, and we're just going to dot that on the top like we did with the first layer, just kind of all over, because butter makes everything better. Okay, now I'm going to cover this and put it in the oven for 30 minutes. And then once 30 minutes has arrived, we are going to remove the cover and we're going to cook it for another 45. So first off, we are doing 30 minutes covered and I'm going to cover this with foil. So into our preheated oven we go for 30 minutes. Okay, so it has been in for 30 minutes. So now we are going to remove the foil. And then we are going to put it in for another 45 minutes uncovered. So and towards the end of our 45 minute um, session, we are gonna add a little bit more cheese to the top. But for right now, we're putting it back in, still at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. It's nice and golden brown. I'm going to put a little bit more cheese on the top and I'm just going to stick it in there for the cheese to melt. It really doesn't need to cook anymore. So you can put as much cheese as you like. I'm going to be putting a little less than a cup of cheese all over the top. And I'm just going to put it back in the oven just to let the cheese melt. I'm going to turn off the oven temperature because we don't need to cook it anymore. This is just to let the cheese melt. Hi, CJ. Hi. Tonight we have some stick to your ribs home cooking. I see that. Very country. Why are you serving me potatoes? <laughs> they're not keto. No, they're not. But apparently you grew up eating turnips and I did not. Yes, I did. Actually, I did. So this is country ham au gratin bake, and it's got turnips, but they look exactly like scalloped potatoes. I sure do. Let's see if they taste like it. Tiny bit. Tiny bit like potatoes? No, tiny bit like 
<laughs> Turnips. So they mostly taste like potatoes. But it's, I mean, it's very faint. I mean, it's seriously very faint. And I will say that we just, I mean, we literally just took this out of the oven. Yes, I usually make you taste it right away. So I'm sure that, let's see the next, the next bite. Mm -hmm. It's so faint. You wouldn't be. A, you can't. It has the texture of oh yeah. Potatoes it looks. Sure. They look like. And this is actually the batch that we need to be taking a picture of. <laughs> it actually looks. They look like potatoes. Just like the way they're cut. And everything. Yeah, they look like potatoes. Yep. So. Betty Crocker, eat your heart out. I know you didn't want to get one of those. What do you call it? Mandolin. You didn't want to get a mandolin. I just used my knife. Yeah. But but, uh, but you totally could. Yeah, you can get if you had a man one, you probably could get it even thinner. Yeah, we might have to invest in one. It's just where we put it in our tiny kitchen. Mm -hmm. That bite, I didn't taste any turnip. It's good, baby. I think I really think you could put this out at a potluck or a something. potluck or Full something. People. people wouldn't yeah. know the difference. Awesome. So good job. I know this was a, I know this was a stressful recipe. Just because I'd never made it. Because you never did it. So. I've never worked with turnips, so. Yeah. So good job. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, I am from Southern Idaho, born and raised. And if you don't know, Idaho is famous for their potatoes. And eating this, I seriously would not be able to tell that these are potatoes. Sure. I'm serious. You can believe me, you can trust me, because I am a potato expert. <laughs> Good stuff. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the country ham au gratin bake as much as our family did. We hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. We upload new recipes every Sunday and we also have Keto Conversations on Wednesdays. And we also talk about other topics and we have sometimes ketogenic food unboxings. So be sure and join us on Wednesdays as well as Sundays. We are also on social media. We are on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And a lot of times we release teaser recipes on both Facebook and Instagram. So please join us there. And that's CJ's Keto Kitchen. Also on our blog, cjsketokitchen.com, we have all the nutritional information, the full printable recipes, macros, and any other information that you might need about this recipe and any other recipe that we have made so far. So head on over there if you need any further information. So we hope that you'll come back and see us again, and we'll see you next time on CJ's Keto Kitchen. Bye.